Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, really appreciate it. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a new brushless system upgrade that I picked up here recently. The Spectrum Firma uh, brushless motor and ESC combo. Uh, this motor is, uh, is it's a 4000 kV. So this sucker is going to have a ton of jam and I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video on this. Kind of uh, let you guys know what you're going to get if you pick this kit up. It's actually very reasonably priced. I think I paid $140 for this Canadian, which is pretty good value if you ask me. Um, for a name brand brushless uh, system such as this, I think that's a really good price point. And 4000 kV, this thing's going to have a ton of jam. Um, so I want to just get it unboxed. We'll go over that. And then I've got to choose which kit to put it in. I think I've got it narrowed down to three, but I need your input. So let's get into this, see what it's all about, and then go from there. So that's it there. Do, 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 do. Nice packaging. If you watched the last unboxing video I had of a brushless motor ESC I purchased, it was not nearly this nicely packaged. So this is a very good start. Um, so let's just talk about what the packaging tells us here first, guys. Uh, the system gives 110 scale drivers more muscle for fast moves over on and off road tracks. The feature packed Firma Smart ESC delivers power and an intelligence all in one. I'm feeding real time telemetry straight to your radio with no additional vehicle modules or links required. Uh, combined with the 4000 kV motor, it provides your vehicle with the ultimate drive for powering over anything in its path. Uh, it is waterproof, which is outstanding. Lots of pro uh, programming options and uh, multi-point protection. One thing I really like about this setup, guys, is that, uh, da, 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 where does it say? So it is an 85 amp ESC, uh, which is pretty cool. A little more uh, amperage uh, capacity than some of the others out there on the market. Two to three S LiPo compatible. Uh, BEC output 6 volt uh, or 7.4 volts at 4 amps. So lots of BEC power to, to get a steering servo going, doing what it has to do. It's a well-equipped brushless uh, motor ESC combo. That's for darn sure. So let's get that opened up. Ta-da! That's the goods there, guys. So let's, uh, here, let's just get this guy out and analyze what we get. So first off, obviously we have our motor and our ESC. Inside the box, we've got a nice little piece of 3M double-sided tape for the ESC. Some nice decals. Free brand swag. Who doesn't like swag? Just for registering. Cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, from 85 so here's your program programmable items so uh, battery type lipo or nickel metal hydride punch levels brake force running mode motor rotation and bc voltage all adjustable which is really really wicked instruction manual and a nice little booklet multi-language instruction manual perhaps Oh, and look, another piece of two-sided tape for the on-off switch. Nice. Now let's get this motor out of here, see what this guy's all about. So, um, yeah, you know, not a whole lot to really get too excited about. I mean, it, it looks really nice. I love the satin black with the orange. I think it's a really nice color scheme. Uh, this looks like it does have a three millimeter shaft, output shaft. Uh, if you guys remember the last unboxing I did was that uh, Ghoul RC. It was even like a knockoff, I think, of Ghoul. <laughs> but it had a 5 millimeter output shaft, which is a little unusual for 10 scale stuff. Normally 10 scale stuff comes with a 3 mil. So this is nice to have just a standard 3 mil. Uh, a lot of motor mounting plate options here, which is pretty slick. I see a ball bearing in the front. I'll presume there's one in the back. You can't really see. And uh, nicely sealed. This is a sensorless setup. So keep that in mind, guys. If you're looking for something censored for a crawler, uh, this is not the kit for you. But really nice beefy leads, nice thick wires, which is cool. And um, yeah, overall construction quality looks really nice. From there, getting into the Speedo, 
These things are just cool looking. I mean, they look kind of next generation, don't they? It's a nice looking Speedo. It's got the beautiful Spectrum logo on it. Um, a couple little tabs here so you can bolt it right down to your chassis. Um, what else? Pre-wired for the motor, obviously. We have the smart connector here. So it's it's an, like a standard IC3 or EC3, but they call it the IC3 because it has that extra cable there you can see. Hopefully you can see that thin that thin wire right there between the two main battery leads. And uh, that's your, your data transmission cable. So uh, if, you're, if your radio and if your stuff is smart compatible, that wire is going to transfer that data for you. If you're like me and you have dumb old school <laughs> electronics, um, a standard EC3 connector is gonna fit in here and work for you. But it's just not gonna transfer the data. Um, what else we have? Waterproof on off switch with the program button, beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's your standard plug for your receiver. So nice looking, the sucker's heavy. Like it feels like it's well built. Like the, the last one again, guys, it was kind of a, a cheaper brand. It felt cheap. This feels nice, it feels heavy. Um, I mean, you can look at the construction quality of it. These cool sort of this bar graph type thing they got going on here. It's all 3D and nicely, uh, you know, nicely, it's not painted, but the finish on it's pretty cool. It almost looks like it's machined, but anyway, that's pretty neat. And uh, oh yeah, and a cooling fan on top. So comes with a cooling fan installed, which is pretty slick. So all that said, it's 85 amps, 4,000 kV, which is going to that's going to be pretty quick. Like I think 4,000 kV is what that's the equivalent of about a 13 turn brushed, maybe 12 turn brush motor, something around there, I think. So it's going to be quick and I've got, I want to put this in a four wheel drive beach buggy. Let's go take a look and see which kit we should put it in. I'll let you know what I think. You guys let me know what you think. All right, guys, I've got it narrowed down to these three right here. And tell me what you think, because I mean, looking at what we've got, like I don't need it on these guys. They've got plenty of punch. Um, I still need to get the dark impact going. Nova Fox, I'm totally happy with. Yeah, I'm thinking these three right here, guys. Fire Dragon, uh, Sand Scorcher, and Thunder Dragon. You know, chassis are basically the same on all three of these guys. They're all shaft driven, four wheel drive, all beach buggies. I love them. And one of them, I, I, I had to have to say that each of them are a little bit on the underpowered side. And I need a little more juice out of these guys. So of the three, which one do you guys think I should put the brushless motor in? Vote number one for the Fire Dragon. Number two, the Sand Scorcher. Or the Terra Scorcher, I'm sorry. And number three, the Thunder Dragon. Again, guys, all three kits are basically the, almost the exact same. The same chassis, just different shock layouts, different sway bars, different bodies, obviously, but very, very similar. First one I took out was the Terra Scorcher. I'm almost leaning towards it because I... I don't know, I feel a little favoritism toward it maybe. But let me know in the comments below, guys, which one you think I should put the brushless motor set up in, because I'll do it, and then we're gonna take it out on the beach and get this thing really flying and catching some big air, doing some really cool stuff, kicking up all sorts of sand. It'll be awesome. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, leave your comments down below again, and let me know which, which kit you think I should put this brushless setup in. And, uh, or if there's another kit on the wall you think I should maybe try it out on. I don't know. I'm thinking this should go in a four wheel drive beach buggy. So if you have another idea, you let me know. Big Philly's always listening. Anyway, guys, I love you. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, be excellent to each other.